On the front of your trailer, you have a 20 pound propane tank that is filled and ready for you to go. Beside that is a deep cycle battery that's all hooked up, ready to go. And beside, in front of your battery, you have a winch control. We'll get to that once we unbuckle your roof. Coming around to the side, you have four latches, one in each corner. Make sure that these are released before you hit that winch button. Coming down in the corner, you have four stabilizer jacks, one in each corner of the trailer. There is a three quarter inch crank provided inside the trailer. On the side here, here's your fridge controls. So if you're gonna run on propane, this is your propane button here. So you'll turn this over to high, holding it down and being in front of it, it's an igniter. Hit the igniter till your propane lights. There's an inspection window here to confirm you have a blue flame inside when you're on propane. And your propane thermostat is this dial here, from high to low when you're on propane. If you're on electric or 12 volt, um, here's your electric and 12 volt here. Red is your 12 volt, the green is your 110, and the thermostat for it is above it. The higher the number, the colder the fridge. Beside that, this is your, frit, or your sink drain. Everything that goes into the sink is going to come out there. That's antifreeze from the winterizing. This is your city water connection. So when you're at the campground, this is where you're going to hook up your garden hose to supply water for the trailer. Your furnace exhaust, hot air blows out of there, so don't put furnace or anything in front of it. This is an AC prep. It's just prepped if you decide to go with AC in the future. Your fresh water fill, you're going to put your garden hose in there and fill up your fresh water tank if you're rough camping or boondocking if water is not supplied. This is your 30 amp cord, you're going to push it on and give it a quarter turn. Line up your L pin with the cord and that will supply power to your trailer. And making sure all four of them are unlatched. Spare tire on the back. Clamp there. This is for your outside table. You have two plug, or you got a plug there that'll come alive when you're plugged in the hydro. The switch for your porch light is on the bottom of the light. This is the rail for your outside grill and or barbecue. Stove. Oh, it's a stove. Oh, stove. Okay. And latch. Latch. Now that we're unlatched, we're going to come around and we're going to hit the winch up and we're looking for a green nylon cable to go taut. Just so it's snug, you don't need it piano tight, but you want it straight and snug, and that tells you that gives you the height for your door. Now, open up the door, step this holes out. This is your add room, that's all in the bag. Everything that you need for your add room is inside the bag, including the instructions. It has been installed. This is your 30 amp cord. Applied with the trailer, 30 amp cord, 25 feet. And these poles, uh, all the poles are the same for front and back beds. So you just need two for the front, two for the back. These poles are going to live in these holes here. And simply pull the bed out. There is a nylon strap there you can grab. Pulling the bed out till it comes to a stop. And then I go and I use my back and push up with my shoulders. Put one in there. One in there. And it's the exact same procedure for the back bed. Out. 
one pole, two poles. Now, I'm going to do this now. This door does get removed, simply lifting up, and it stores underneath the back bunk for when you're camping. There's a set of hinges here, line up your hinges, slide on, and then there's a bungee cord for the door. And that's where it'll live while you're camping. Now to finish your bunks, you're looking for this flap here, and you're looking for the dome button. There's a dome button in each corner. So simply bring this canvas over and do up your dome button right there, and that protects the canvas from all the metal. You do have a rope, it goes to the other side. I'll show you if there's a ring like that on the other side. Bring your zipper down, and then you're just going to Velcro. Your outer room will Velcro in here also. Just looking for that button. Put the button on. Bring the zipper down. Exact same procedure for the front. There's your bunk ends. Oh, and again, that goes to the other side and just clips into the ring that's on the other side. Now, coming into the coach, flipping the sink up. Allows you to put your ceiling lights on. And ceiling lights. You can turn them off individually by hitting the center of the light or you have a ceiling light switch there for all of them. Um, coming over here, this is your couch that flips into, so you flip this up, it's on a strap there or stop it from coming out if you want but bad mode bring it out you're in bad mode or put it up and you're in couch mode there's couch mode now saying that it can't stay in couch mode to pack it up can't have anything above the rails to bring the, this down. Nothing can be above the rails for the beds to slide in and out. Your bunk ends, both front and back, have a pipe here. You're gonna, if you're looking for this black little knob there, and the pole goes inside the little knob, like so, and then push outward, and you're gonna install it right here. And that tightens your canvas up. It's the exact same procedure for the front. These are your mattress controls. They plug in at the head of your mattress. Both they plug in here and they're plug in. And it's uh, when you're plugged into hydro, you got heated mattresses. Here's a bag with all the literature. That's for your trailer. You have a barbecue flipper. This is your crank for your stabilizer jacks. Again, they're stabilizer jacks. Put this into table mode. Simply move the cushions. 
The table is a banquet style table. Simply undo the Velcro. Bring the legs down. And set her up. Like so. Done. Barbecue. Nope, stove. Stove. So your stove, uh, it can live here. There's two straps to strap it on here too. And there's your gas line. Or you can push this gas line down and pull it outside and put this on that rail that I showed you earlier. On this side of the sink, you have your uh, thermostat. So simply sliding the top lever all the way to the right will light your furnace, set it to your desired temperature, and it'll, it'll light and ignite and everything all on its own. Smoke detector. Um, it does take a 9 volt battery, so remember to replace that once a year. You have a CO detector right here. It's hardwired in, there's no battery. There's your water pump for your 12 volt water pump on and off right there. There's, a, there's this is your furnace. This is your fridge. The controls for that are, I showed you on the outside. Um, there's no hot water tank in this guy, no hot water tank. Okay, no hot water tank. Uh, the vent, simply just a knob, turn it, open the vent. Spin it the other way, close it. Okay, to work your door, the door has some straps up here so it won't fall down on your head. It'll stay up there. So simply undo the straps, twist this little lock here, grab approximately the middle of the door, and exit the trailer with the door. Once you exit, then bring her back in at the bottom. Thing here. Make sure that's not there. We go. And it'll fight. There you go. Twist, 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 and twist. And then the top ones, they got two little twisties here too. He's uh, gonna fight me because he can. There's one, there's two, and then the old Velcro your canvas inside and out make it all nice and beautiful that's your camping door to remove it complete opposite just make sure the canvas is off of it do all your little twisties and again kick the bottom out to, of the trailer and it will just slide up on them cables on the roof just make your motion slow and steady. And then I place that there. It's safe to let go, it won't fall on your head. Here, um, well, I've got a cover here. I think we need safe to come down. All right, I'm just gonna pack this table away again. You can't have anything higher than the bed. store under the table for travel. Alright, now we'll uh, take this down. Down. 
just have to run the zipper so far up. You don't have to go all the way to the top. Now I like to release the canvas from that pipe. Just to make sure that the canvas is free and clear. That way you don't need no binding. The other thing I like to do is take the corner which, uh, and I fold this corner over the canvas just to help keep the canvas in away from the slides. And you release your poles. Oh, always make sure you do things slow. <laughs> you got you'll do it once or twice, you'll forget that door is there. So as long as you do things slow, you won't do any damage. But remember that door is there. Bring the roof down. Hold the, just pushing this. <laughs> but I could go at least halfway and then start the first pot. Always do it in stages. And I try and get the canvas in as far as I can so it doesn't bulge up in the corners. and sticking out. Good. Okay, and then I'll hold the button until the winch stops on its own. That's the winch stopping on its own. You may have to push down slightly on the corners just to get your latch. attempt to open this door when the roof is down. If you want this door open, unlatch it and raise the roof even an inch or even push up on the roof because you'll rip that seal out of there opening this door with the roof down. 
If you have any other questions or concerns, call us at 519-371-0370 or info at terrys with an S trailers.ca.